n equal to 2 power 4 into 3 square n equal to 2 power 4 into 3 square. Find the total number of factors. Find the total number of factors which are find the total number of factors which are perfect squares. Find the total number of factors which are perfect squares. Find the total number of factors which are non-perfect squares, which are non-perfect squares. Find the total number of factors which are perfect cubes. Find the total number of factors which are non-perfect cubes. Another variety which we will discuss. First 15-20 minutes. Once the concepts are clear, then we can solve the problems very very easily. Find the total number of factors which are perfect squares, which are non-perfect squares, perfect cubes and non-perfect cubes. Concept. Concept. What do you suppose? If the power is an even number, if the power of any number, if it is an even number, including zero, if the power of a natural number, it is an even number, including 0, then the number is called a perfect square. Then the number is called a perfect square. Perfect square means a number multiplied by itself. 16 is a perfect square. It can be written as 2 power 4. 4 is an even number. It can be written as 4 square. 2 is an even number. If you can write a number where the power is an even number, including 0, then the number is a perfect square. Then the number is a perfect square. Power should be an even number, including 0. Once you understand this concept, then you can solve this problem very, very easily. n equal to 2 power 4 into 3 square. n equal to 2 power 4 into 3 square. Now listen carefully. Power should be an even number. 2 power 0, 2 power 2, 2 power 4. Are you all with me? I cannot take 2 power 1 and 2 power 3 because power should be an even number including 0. 3 power 0 and 3 power 2. 3 power 0 and 3 power 2. 2 power 0, 2 power 2, 2 power 4. 3 power 0, 3 power 2. Hey Anil sir, why you have not taken 2 power 1? Not possible. Sir, why you have not taken 2 power 3? Not possible. If I want the factors which are perfect squares, if I want the factors which are perfect square, power should always be an even number including 0. 4 into 9, 36, it is a perfect square. 16 into 1, 16, it is a perfect square. 1 into 9, 9, it is a perfect square. So totally how many cases are there? 0 to 4. 3 cases are there. Similarly for 3 power 2. How many cases are there? 2 cases are there. 3 to 0 6. Totally there are 6 factors which are perfect squares. Why these 3 cases? 1, 2, 3. What are these 3 cases? 2 power 0, 2 power 2, 2 power 4. Or in simple language Divide the power by 2. Divide the power by 2 and add 1. Divide the power by 2 and add 1. Sir, why are you dividing the power by 2? Are, power should be an even number. Even number it is perfectly divisible by 2. Even number it is perfectly divisible by 2. Including 0. That is the reason 0 is included. We are adding 1. Perfect square means power should be an even number including 1. Even number means it is divisible by 2. So 4 divided by 2. I will get 2 cases. What are the 2 cases? 2 power 2 and 2 power 4. What is the another case? Power can also be 0. That is the reason we are adding 1. The power can be any number. If you are getting a decimal value, please ignore the decimal value. Please ignore the decimal value. If the question is 2 power 17 into 3 power 5. Factors which are perfect squares. Factors which are perfect square is 17 by 2, 8.5. Ignore decimal. 8 add 1. 5 by 2, 2.5. 
2 plus 1. So this will be 9 into 3. Total 27. Factors are perfect square. Divide the power by 2 and add 1. This example is important. I, why I took only 8? In 2 power 17, what are the cases? 2 power 2, 2 power 4, 2 power 6, 2 power 16. 2 power 2, 2 power 4, 2 power 6, 2 power 16. 2 1s are 2, 2, 2 8s are 16. 8 cases, why am I adding 1? 2 power 0, 1 is a factor for any number. Divide the power by 2 and add 1. Divide the power by 2 and add 1. First concept can also be used in third concept. First concept can also be used in third concept. First concept is divide the power by 2 and add 1. Why? Perfect square means power should be divisible by 2. Perfect cube means power should be divisible by 3. Power should be divisible by 3 and add 1. Perfect square means power should be divisible by 2 and add 1. Perfect cube means power should be divisible by 3 and add 1. So same thing. Divide the power by 3 and add 1. Divide the power by 3. Divide the power by 3 and add 1. Divide the power by 3 and add 1. Are you all with me? So 4 by 3, 1 plus 1, 2. 2 by 3, 0 plus 1, 1. So, 2 1s are 2. Perfect square means divide the power by 2 and add 1. Perfect cube my means divide the power by 3 and add 1. Similarly, non-perfect square means total factors minus factors which are perfect squares. Total factors minus factors which are perfect squares. If I want non-perfect cube means Total factors minus factors which are perfect cubes. I hope this concept is also clear. 